stone lifting the Stanley Cup. Yeah! Let's go! Go, let's go! Why? Oh my goodness! <laughs> that is gorgeous. I never thought I'd see that in a hockey game. The Golden Knights win 4-1 to against the St. Louis Blues. Just putting on a clinic all night. I, uh, this, if we do beat Colorado and end up playing against the Blues in the first round, <laughs> still no patch ready or no sick, uh, but we still have Krebs and that's awesome. And we had Flurry in that tonight and my goodness, he was on his game. And our defense was too, only allowing eight shots in the first two periods. Just over 12 minutes in, right off of a face-off, the Blues try to get it out, but Colazar with a strip in the neutral zone and gets it into the offensive zone. William Carrier drives towards the net and leaves it for Riley Smith, who then flicks this, and I don't think it was on purpose, but off of Jaden Schwartz's leg, and it goes past Huso to open scoring one nothing. Riley Smith, goals in three straight games, Games is really finding his groove here towards the end of the season, which is the best time to find your groove. However, immediately after this, we give the St. Louis Blues a power play because <laughs> of course we do. But what a moment for irony, uh, Dave Gauthier. The Blues, along with the New York Islanders, are the only team this year to not allow a shorthanded goal. And as he's saying this, Petrangelo with the steal in the neutral zone gets it into the offensive zone with Stevenson, who does not miss. Blast this past Huso, making it 2 0 Vegas shorthanded secondary assist there to Dave Gauthier because oh my goodness that was incredible like I was saying earlier about Smith Petrangelo has really evolved into the player that we were hoping we were getting in the beginning of the season and is showing that he's worth his contract Flurry didn't see a shot until about 16 minutes into the first period and uh, the first few shots he did see Ooh boy, St. Louis was sure coming in, but Flurry with some pretty magnificent saves. Uh, but to end the first period, Jonathan Marcheseau hitting the iron uh, didn't go in, so we go into second to nothing. The story for most of the second period was uh, some breakaways and some really good saves. Uh, Tuck with an excellent breakaway chance because of a steal from Carrier who with an excellent feed over to a streaming Tuck who gets in all alone but who so saves it. And then it was White Cloud's turn. Uh, Marsha so with a steal in the neutral zone gets it in feeds it back to White Cloud, who then gets in all alone, and Huso saves it. And now it was Flurry's turn, with Shen having an opportunity to score, but Flurry with an excellent glove save. But we get to the end of the second period, and some rough stuff going down between Alex Petrangelo and McEachern. Kyle Clifford barreling in and hits Flurry, kind of, but I don't know what he was supposed to, uh, look, just the whole situation got out of hand, but it was really, really cool to see Petrangelo sticking up for his goalie against his former team that he just captained for last season. So four on four and Colton Pareko kind of passes it to himself up the boards, but Theodore thought he had it, but then Pareko strips him of the puck, streams in front of the net and gets it past Flurry to make it two to one. Some more penalty issues in the beginning of the third with William Carey and Justin Folk both getting unsportsmanlike conduct penalties, uh, coincidental minors, so it'll be four on four, but nothing happens there but as the penalties end there's another penalty on the blues this time just them jake wallman is called for interference on alex tuck so we go to the power play off the draw tuck gets it back to petrangelo who sends it over to martinez who's on the right side who gets it right up to riley smith who's right in front and he tries for a little chip shot right in front of the net but who's was able to make the initial save however riley smith grabs his own rebound and sends it right past Huso to make it three to one vegas the power play goal Woo! And that's Riley Smith's second of the night, so how do you watch for him? With about five minutes left, we give the Blues a power play because yay for difficulty, and uh, they had a really good opportunity. Flurry making some excellent saves, but uh, there's a rebound that trickles right over to Ryan O'Reilly on the right side, and the net is completely wide open, and of course, O'Reilly misses the net? Completely wide open net that O'Reilly just sends through the crease and misses this perfectly set up goal. And uh, <laughs> um, I am so grateful. Uh, 
The best thing to do in this situation is not question it. Martinez catches it on the other side and gets it out, and so we're able to kill this penalty off. Therefore, the Blues pull their goalie. Theodore intercepts a pass and is able to chip it out into the neutral zone. Marcia so grabs it, but it kind of bounces off him and fall all the way to the other side of the ice where Riley Smith is, and he grabs it, skates in, and shoots it on the empty net, gets it, gets his first ever hat trick in over 600 games, and it's a madhouse. And that's gonna be it. And oh my goodness, what a game. Uh, Marc-Andre Fleury made some excellent saves, was really, really good. And uh, Huso, although allowing three, also had a really, really good game where he made a lot of tough saves. So props to him, but <laughs> Riley Smith, Props to you for getting your first hat trick of your career. Mark andre Fleury's eighth straight victory, which for him is a career high, actually, and that's really, really cool. And Martinez, this entire game, blocked really, really incredible shots. Uh, huge props to him as well. Nine. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's a career high for him as well. Nine block shots in a single game. Just, just a really good game. Our next game, game 55 against Colorado on Monday. And it's an important one that very may well decide the division title and the president's trophy. But that's gonna be it for game 54's nightly review. Thank you so much for watching and have a good night.